For today's focus, we head to Iraq, where the military, supported by the US and French air forces, has gained control of two more areas in the east of Mosul. While well, the army now has its sights firmly set on the city's western neighborhoods, some of which remain firmly in the clutches of the Islamic State group. While well, the task isn't an easy one, the uh, IS have become experts at booby-trapping everyday objects, leaving behind uh, explosive devices everywhere. French special forces are side by side with elite Iraqi soldiers. Their mission? Gather intelligence by finding and analyzing explosives left behind by the Islamic State group. They're never far from the front lines. The French are helping to identify targets. It's complicated. There are areas where we know there are very few civilians, but we have to be absolutely sure. Their goal? To see without being seen. 200 strong on the ground, they remain anonymous. They don't have that in the face. I for the past two years, French soldiers have been discreetly training, supporting and advising Iraqis and Kurds. The French are at the edge of Mosul, where Iraqi forces comb a neighborhood retaken from the Islamic State group, an operation that had support from French special forces. They look through potentially mined ruins, searching for the slightest clue that could help them to better understand the techniques the jihadists use. Quand tu vois que c'est trop encombré, hein, je passe devant. Un tunnel qui part à gauche, ouais. qui part à droite. Okay. The first to go through is Julien, an explosives and demining expert. Victor follows. Nothing escapes their gaze. The detonator is interesting because you need it for setting traps. The rooms are narrow and danger could be anywhere. Another sign of the Islamic State group? Two mortar shells and even more surprising objects. A bag may be left behind by a French jihadi. The tunnel descends a peu près à 4-5 mètres de profondeur, ça part sur la gauche. They continue through a labyrinth of tunnels and bombed out houses. Soldiers from the Islamic State group used them to move around the neighborhood in secret. Precise inscriptions on the walls mark the route. Right there, it says, watch out for jets. It means there were coalition fighter jets flying over this place. By following electric cabling, the French soldiers stumble upon a strategic hideout once used by a sniper. Just a bed and openings from which to fire on Iraqi forces. The door leading outside might be booby trapped. The demining expert opens it carefully. The balcon par à gauche, je vois qu'il y a des traces de pas au sol. Ok, je pars à droite. The jihadists have become fearsome experts at booby trapping. They put explosives into all kinds of everyday objects and more. Je crois qu'il y a un drone écrasé en bas là. Il y a quoi On dirait un drone écrasé. Just weeks ago, two special forces soldiers were badly injured by a booby trapped drone. Je vais aller sur le drone. I'm going to double check the drone. While I make sure that it's not rigged with anything, I just wanted to take cover behind this wall. It's a risky approach, but he has to find out if there is anything there that could shed light on how the enemy operates. The front line is a few kilometers away, and there are no French soldiers there. At the front, Iraqis are fighting the war. The French commandos drive towards the Syrian border. Our crew isn't allowed to film the convoy or say how many soldiers are there. They're operating in secret somewhere between Raqqa and Mosul, a route frequently taken by the Islamic State group. Hello. 
The French have already been through here, helping the Iraqi army and also the Kurdish Peshmerga, who give an update on their situation. The Peshmerga have set up an observation post here, which has been repeatedly targeted by the Islamic State group. Over the course of a few hours, nine shells landed here. The special forces set their weapons up on the roof in order to fire back in the case of an attack. They also deploy their surveillance systems. For these soldiers in the shadows, night is no problem. Thermal cameras let them see everything. In this kind of village there is usually just civilian activity. Apart from the Peshmergas, the only other forces in the region are enemy ones. So if we see a building with lots of activity going on at night, flashes of heat from vehicles, then we know it's from enemy combatants. In the morning, the special forces get their observation drone ready. It's the best way to find Islamic State combatants. It flies at an altitude of a thousand meters, high enough to be basically undetectable. In this war, it's indispensable. The French will spend 10 days here gathering and analyzing information taken from its photos and videos. Killian, Guillaume, Maverick, Taz, Kyle, all pseudonyms for the anonymous soldiers fighting a war against the Islamic State group. Today's focus coming to you from Iraq.